Hello everyone, welcome to Screen Protector. Guys, before we go to the main board, we've got an LG TV, which had a, a only red diode, then it died. And what I did check, okay, I disconnected everything and I removed all the ban bunch of all the, you can call them transistors, MOSFETs and other stuff. It doesn't matter. I dissolved, I removed them, okay, and then I've checked and I had a still short on this one. I did solder the wire, but when I soldered the wire, I said, hmm, it's too early. So I did remove it and I still got a short, okay. So I'll try to do it with one hand. Should be beep. Where are we? Here, no beep. Oh, because it wasn't touching. Okay. I need to grab it in a better way. So plus, plus, and yes, you see that those props here have a short. So now what's left, it's not many components. I did check bridge rectifier and it's short on the minus uh, to the plus. If you don't know, the plus is cut at side. The minus is not the cut at side. The intersection is the, I see minus and plus, and then it, you get an AC here coming in. So what it is, it's, it will get a short on this side, uh, which is going to the transformer. Okay, I will try to desolder this side of the transformer these pins and lift it up on this one side. Yes, when I will lift it up and I will see that the short is gone on the big capacitor, we will know that it's most likely the truffle transformer. If I will desolder this side, you know, um, then I will be 100% sure if there will be no short on this side. And that's unfortunate. In this case, if you will see such case, then what you need to do is you just need to either find a transformer, which I, it's doubtful, doubtful. So probably what you need is you need a new power supply. Okay, so be right back. Okay, guys, so somebody would say that why well, I won't check the capacitor. Yes, yeah, so I did remove that just in case that somebody would say uh, I did check that. <laughs> so I know it's not a capacitor. Capacitor is not shorted, uh, but we still have short on this even though I removed that transformer. So that's a positive thing because that's mean maybe maybe we can fix it. You know, maybe it's a brick rectifier and I'm just panicking because I had two believe or not I had two LG power supplies with a faulty transformer. And uh, you know I just wanted to get on with it, you know, I <laughs> just <laughs> removed it. But Pretty much, you know, bridge rectifier can go quicker faulty than, uh, you know, than the transformer. So let's see, you know, here, oh, you don't see uh, the display. Let me fix that. Sorry guys, but I'm, I don't have hands. So, okay, so here you've got 403, 402, where I'm doing positive on the positive and negative on the negative, but guess what, yes? If I'll swap it, it's still 405, yes? So it sh it's wrong. And it properly should be, you know, uh, one showing. So that's an open circuit. Let's get another LG here for those who don't know. And you can w ask what should be the reading. So here is another bridge rectifier on another LG, only 49 inch. And we can see that Oh, you don't see the display of the mon of the meter. Okay, and we've got none. We've got open loop. Oh, or it's yeah. Okay, it was. So if we will swap it now, we will have this four hundred reading. Depend what bridge rectifier is. Yes, now you see. So that's what it is. That's the proper reading on the plus and minus. So if we know it, we know that it's not a problem uh, with us. It's just a problem with this bridge rectifier that has it. So it's, you know, me panicking that I had last two uh, things faulty 
and it was a transformer so let's see if this bridge rectifier causing that okay i'll just i'll remove it and i'll be right back okay guys so i've soldered everything back because i found the culprit actually two culprits here these have failed i don't know what they are still but uh, i've soldered everything back and we don't have a short anymore so happy days we need to only find out what they are it's just that my mm, last let's say my last cases were too much on the uh, too much on the transformers like i was unlucky with two power supplies okay it's growing it's 864 Okay, here, 9864, where is the other side, come on, let's go above, yes, so now the problem only is why it's 864, it shouldn't be 864 on 1, unlimited, yes, okay, did I, did I press it? Badly. You see, the problem only is when you've got only that should grow, grow, grow on one side and on the second should hold the capacitance. That changed when I uh, soldered these ones, all of them. Yes. So let's check here on this transformer, I mean, on this uh, power supply. So minus and minus and plus and plus. Okay. And you see here it's one okay that's one that's what we want and on the second one it should grow 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 yes oh no i was wrong so okay so we might be lucky that it's it's fine so now when i will plug it into the power i shouldn't have short that's okay so i was wrong um I need to check what these are, yes, and if I have them in stock. If I have them in stock, we can install them and we've got a fixed TV. Uh, but I need to check what they are first. And if no, I will need to check if I can get them from the UK or I need to order them from China. And, you know, what's what's then better for the customer? Because if for the customer it's not worth to wait from the China, uh, then, of course, automatically, you know, we can order it here. Uh, as a whole power supply and I can fix this power supply because I know what's wrong and I can resell it or keep it for another customer yes so be right back guys so as we see I found this board it's the same EEX 6679601 is it the same what we see here and in the brackets it's 1.9 revision 1.0 yes and here is the same I bought from this supplier I know this supplier uh, it's a genuine guy uh, trying really to help. See, there's the same revision, 25 pounds, you can buy it. So we will see if I can get those components and I'll record part two when either those components will come or we will get the second board from the seller, yes? So thank you for watching and hope you like the video and the value out of it. You see, it's it's just few quid repair if you can literally buy those components yourself and replace these two yes here if you count you can get the power for the main power supply board for like peanuts yes uh, because 25 pounds come on it's it's not not a big deal so guys thank you for watching hope you can uh, hit the like button or subscribe and see you in the next one bye bye